So if you didn't know, today, Governor Abbott of Texas signed a order, proclamation, um, some sort of designation to throw the full weight of the Texas government um, to combat Trend de Aragua. Because if you didn't know, the Biden and Harris administration has created a massive issue with the gangs, especially from Venezuela, with their open border policies. Because also, if you did not realize, what happens in Texas does not stay in Texas. With, with this gang, it's it's not, uh, they're not like traditional like MS-13s where you can see them come in a mile away with the crazy tattoos they have all over their faces. These guys fly under the radar. Um, as a federal agent, we have no way of of vetting these people uh, other than the honor system. If, if they tell us they're from so-and-so and this is their name, we can't check against Venezuela's database. They're not going to give us access to it, so we have to let them go. Um, unfortunately, we do let them go. Um, in the off chance we're going to deport them, Venezuela decides they're not going to take them back, so our government uh, uh, on the federal level is kind of weak-minded, and so we just go ahead and, okay, well, you know, you go ahead and stay here then. And it's unfortunate what we're seeing. Uh, it, it is an infestation. It's taking hold, um, not just in uh, you know Colorado or New York. It's up in Michigan, uh, Florida, Texas. You name it. Um, it's it's spreading. And what people fail to realize is, working on the border, we see everything come through. But it doesn't affect us as much it, as, as it affects the rest of the United States, especially Houston. Um, everything that comes through our area just passes through and it ends up as your problem or a problem somewhere up north and and if people don't wake up and see it for what it is we're going to be in a lot of trouble in this country but i do think governor abbott's uh borders are he has his own it's not kamala harris obviously because as we all know she cares very little if anything about her job as borders are and the Biden administration did task a vice president, Kamala Harris, with the issue of migrant crossings, naming her the so-called border czar. I've asked her, uh, the VP today, because she's the most qualified person to do it, to lead our efforts with uh, Mexico and the Northern Triangle and the countries uh, that uh, help, uh, we're going to need help in stemming the movement of uh, so many folks uh, stemming the migration to our southern border. We've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point. That Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. But I digress. Governor Abbott's borders are does a great job of summing this up. Here you go. Thank you. Now the Texas borders are Mike Banks. Good afternoon. I want to be very clear that a TDA problem in Texas and the rest of the United States is a direct result of open border policies. The Biden-Harris administration has sent out an all call to the world that you can cross this border without any consequences. Think about it for a moment. There are 195 known countries in this world, and in the last three plus years, we've had 169 of those countries cross illegally into this country. Then you talk about Venezuela, that being one of those countries where it is a known fact that the Venezuelan government has released prisoners with one condition. You leave Venezuela and don't come back. Well, then they answer the all call from this administration. They show up here. So there's no surprise that we have a criminal illegal gang problem in the United States. And thankfully, we're addressing that. Talk about vetting. You get the federal government will tell you the Biden, Harris, and Secretary Mayorkas will tell you that they're vetting everyone they're releasing. That is an absolute lie because they cannot vet them against their criminal history in Venezuela because Venezuela refuses to share that information with us because it would defeat the very purpose of releasing them to go into another country if they were going to be held because of that criminal history. So, you know, Governor Abbott has been at the forefront of this open border crisis. This is nothing that we haven't been talking about since OLS started back in March. We knew that these are the types of things that are going to happen when you have an open border and you allow everyone in the country without proper vetting. 
you know, thankfully we've had a strong legislature that has given us many of the laws that the governor's talked about here today that we're using to go after TDA. Um, and so I want to thank the legislature and then also want to thank the governor for having the moral courage to continue fighting this fight and doing everything we can to protect Texas and the rest of the United States. And we're not going to stop until Biden-Harris administration steps up and honors their oath of office, which is to protect America and Americans first. And I would still love to know if there are any Democrats out there willing to state why, why they think someone who has been in office for the last almost four years, who has allowed for this all to happen. Why do you think anything about what she would do in the next four to eight years would be any different? Why? Because she said it? Because aren't, I mean, don't actions speak louder than words? It is wrong to somehow suggest that an undocumented immigrant is a criminal. Being an undocumented immigrant is not a crime. I know what a crime looks like. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. 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 An undocumented an undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. An undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. And we have to correct course in this conversation. We're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the border as criminals. That's correct. The left keeps saying that statistically Americans commit more crimes than non-Americans in this country. Well, I'll let my colleagues on the left to know that these mothers that are dealing with this understand that that's actually not true. And in fact, police sources told the New York Post that around 75% of people arrested in midtown Manhattan, which is not necessarily a direct border state, in recent months, they've been illegal aliens. The federal government must do everything it can to protect American citizens. That's actually our sole purpose. That's our number one job. And we can do that. It's simple. We need to reestablish the immigration and border policies that worked under President Trump. This is not difficult. My colleagues on the left want to say this is not political and it doesn't matter who your guy or gal is. Yes, it does. It really does, actually. And because if President Trump were in office right now, we wouldn't be sitting here. And I don't care what political affiliation that you have. Those are facts. Kamala Harris wants you to confuse her border policies now because now she's claiming that she supports Trump's border policies and she wants you to believe that she's tough on the border. But we know that's not true. And as we know, that the best predictor of future performance is past performance. Because elections do have consequences.